Welcome to the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday. What are you doing? Our countertop tastes good. You made candy on this thing, didn't you, last night? I hope this is chocolate. Because <laughs> if it's fentanyl... <laughs> Why would you pick fentanyl, you I freak? Know. Okay, uh, I was going to make a joke about it. We don't have any babies anymore, thank God. And you go straight to fentanyl? <laughs> what the, is wrong with licking you? Licking the countertop. Uh, elves on the shelf. I'm getting the hang of it. See? No. No? No, that's that's not the hang of it, sweetie. Yet. Perhaps I do need help. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That just don't licking show that the countertop. To children, okay? Okay. Well, speaking of needing help, do you remember last year they had the big controversy about baby it's cold outside? It, it continues today. Yeah, I mean, it, they brought it all up again this year saying that this basically is part of, you know, a, a, a sexual malevolence and, and manipulation and, and this song is abusive towards women and some, some radio stations have canceled it again. Now, some people have listened to this and gone, oh, we know a father-daughter combo that sang this and if you want creepy... That was uncomfortable. That was uncomfortable. Anyway, here's our look. Let's see what it sounds like, shall we? Break it down by lyrics. You Aaron. shall be the gentleman, I shall be the demure lady. And begin. All right. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I gotta go away. Baby, it's cold outside. This evening has been... Been hoping you'd drop in. So very nice. I'll hold your hands. They're just like ice. Oh, my mother will start to worry. Beauties, what's your... My father will be pacing Listen the floor. Listen to the fireplace roar. So really, I'd rather scurry. Beauty, please don't hurry. Well, maybe just a half a glass more. I'll put some records on while I pour. All right. Yeah. So, so far, it, nothing. It doesn't seem. It, it does. It seems more. Like, he-he-he-he-he-he. He, 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 he. Like, it could be uncomfortable a lot, depending on who this guy is that you dropped into. Is it your first time out? Exactly. I have you been going on a long, a long time, and... Well, let, okay, let's do this. Let's flip it and see if it sounds creepier, like if the girl is saying these lines. I get to be a woman. Here we go. Ready? Hang on one I second. Shall wait, be... wait. I have to get in the moment. I'll be the <clears throat> persuasive one. Okay. You shall be the demure maiden. All right, so where am I? Uh, Got it. Okay, okay, so I'm ready. So the, the first part ran, and now, well, maybe just half a drink more. I'll put some records on while I pour. The neighbors might think. Baby, it's cold outside. What's in my drink? <laughs> no cabs to be had out there. <laughs> What's in my drink? That's like a bad... That's not a good thing. That's a thing. bad line. I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight now. To break this spell. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks swell. I ought to say no, no, no. Ooh, okay. See, now, see, now we're getting into that. I ought to say no, no, no. Well, what's the sense of hurting my pride? Like, if you say no, you're going to hurt my feelings. Is, oh, wait, I'm supposed Can to be the guy here. Can we continue? Sorry. Okay, at, Baby, why hurt my pride? At least I'm going to say I tried. Baby, don't hold out. Hmm. Baby, it's cold, cold outside. outside. Now you start with ah. Uh, you do have to do this one. <laughs> Again on the floor. <laughs> we're, dis we're disturbing the dog. <laughs> Have you been eating cheese? <laughs> well, there was the wine and cheese plate earlier. It was very tasty. <laughs> Get off me. See, it's not that creepy. If you're yeah, married, if I'm you're the one who's in charge, it's, yes. If you're married, it makes more sense. Plus, you suck at wrestling. Uh, so anyway, let's talk about nothing but cakes for the holidays. Was just down there yesterday, uh, talking with April, and this is the Sandy location, and they have got some great things going on for the holidays. Where I actually had to help her out. She's so busy with some deliveries. It was wonderful. And the smartest people came up to the came up to the reception desk, and I said, "I'm here for Nancy." Nancy shows up. I go, "Here are your nothing but cakes," and she got like eight of them. And I said, "You are going to be the most popular oh, then person there here." Person and then said, she oh. said, "I do the least amount of work, so I make up for it every year." 
<laughs> you could do this too. I love the one person who said, I'll just take this back to my friend. I went, that's not going to make it no, back there. No, you're it? not. Well, here's the reality. We were taking some Bontinis around to, to some of our favorite clients and they, people. They used to go in here. And it is everything you can do not to eat them on the way to the location because these things are so good. There's buntlets, there's Bontinis, there's good, beautiful cakes, all crowned in a rich, thick cream cheese frosting. They and used to be. April can decorate them. She can do like a custom logo for your company on a little stick pin. And then they deliver everything for you. And all of a sudden, you are like the coolest client ever on the planet. And everybody loves you. Because look, let's be honest. It's this or the giant dented tin of popcorn. What are you going to go with? Will you stop pointing that out? Anyway, 10389 South Street, State Street in Sandy. Go visit April. Have her take care of all of your clients for the holidays. And, and if you're like us, do remember that every single holiday party you go to or you have to bring something, nothing but cakes is a super easy alternative to actually having to, you know, bake. I think I've made my point here. Let's talk about something good, shall we? Tell me something good, Erin. This one is so wonderful, and I know that I've got kind of a soft spot for this, but I just remember so vividly being in the courthouse and in the courtroom with the judge, and mm -hmm. he had a big smile. He goes, this is my favorite thing. I wait for right. this all week right. because he got he gets to conduct adoptions mm -hmm. and, and the adoption hearings. Well, I don't think anyone's going to top this. Uh, Michael Orlando Clark Jr. came home, and he told his mom, hey, mom, I invited my kindergarten class to my adoption hearing. She went, you did what? <laughs> Usually because there might be some family. Maybe grandma, maybe. grandpa. Right. But so the entire kindergarten class oh, came from school. Funny. And they all had these little hearts on sticks. And they were oh. them. And every one of the kids, the judge was awesome. He goes, hey, everybody, you stand up tell me how you feel about Michael. They all stood up and talked about him. The teachers did. And the teachers said, oh, that's funny. we began the school year as a family. Family doesn't have to be DNA because of family. I hate this. It's support and love. And when it was finally time for the judge to officiate the adoption by banging on the gavel, the kid got to bring down the hammer alongside his new parents and the entire court. That's so fun. Just erected complete strangers like, that is the most beautiful thing ever in the it world. It is. It is something the judges actually like to do because it, it's joyful. It, it has nothing to do um, with, with our experience. Uh, they have to ask certain questions. Which I thought was interesting. They asked um because the name switch and all that they stuff. Asked, they asked if this name switch for Zoe was because <laughs> is she charged with any felony crime and attempting to evade it? And even our, even the judge was giggling. It was She's like, this tall. I mean, she was this tall. So anyway, uh, and then uh, we actually um, got to go back into the chamber, mm -hmm. uh, his office, and he was wearing uh, a Hawaiian shirt. It was awesome. It was really fun. So um, happiest thing in the world, though. So it, that's such a cool little thing. I can see this kid doing that too. Scientific facts. Oh yeah. Scientific facts about the environment and you, my friends. If you love glitter, shall we talk? We have addressed I that. I think so. Glitter is the herpes of the craft supply world. It's everywhere in my house. It's a, I have talked to probably six people in the last three days that had a fleck, a fleck of glitter. And you can't not look at it. And you're just it's like, like a third oh, eye. Oh, like, oh, it's like a big hairy mole. You're just, yeah, there it is. Anyway, it is everywhere. And actually what it is called, specific plastic, specifically as a polymer called polyethylene, better known as PET. And what is wrong with PET? PET is also known as mylar, and yeah. mylar breaks down to very small particles of plastic and contains, and it stands for 92.4% of the total 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic floating around the oceans today. Oh, wow. We suck. The animals see a particle and they eat it, thinking it's, it's shiny. phytoplankton, or, pl plankton or, or zooplankton or whatever, and they are eating that, which makes them starve to death, basically. And so uh, th this is the big thing, you know, they could start talking about those plastic straws and stuff. Um, this all breaks down, and you know, it's not like plastic bags floating on the surface. It's this. Layers of insidious little floating pillars. plastic that's going along. Yeah, and so uh, basically, if you love glitter, uh, you're killing the planet. Well, there you go. I feel better about myself already. Now, here's the deal. Of course, entrepreneurs get out there and they say, I will save a sea turtle and I will make biodegradable glitter. glitter. Can that be done? It is. It's called BioGlitz. Them and about 150 other companies are working really hard on this. 
to, to make this That's work. A good thing. It is. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Should we end up with something happy? No. I think you might enjoy it. No, glitter. Don't do it. Go ahead. Okay. So the porch pirate thing is a nightmare, and every single one of us on our street especially tries to look out for our neighbors and everyone we see, a UPS truck or whatever. We're like keeping an eye out, making sure no one's Someone's following, following you. you. Exactly. And Todd's actually stood out on our driveway and stared at people before, which is actually kind of enjoyable to watch. But this is even more satisfying. So there was a big spate that went through one of the neighborhoods down in Spanish Fork, and right. they were all incredibly frustrated. They've gotten the super expensive doorbell cameras, which make you laugh because all you... They take crappy photos, and no one has got a platform reach on their social media to get it to other than 100 people. All right, so Tr Trisha was very, very frustrated, and she was on a, a Facebook Marketplace looking around. Right. She'd had a huge Christmas haul of packages stolen right off her porch, and it was most of the stuff she'd ordered for Christmas. Uh kids and she was going to think and she looked at one person's account and he had all this stuff listed and it looked kind of strange what do you mean familiar look looked at someone's he listing had, he had taken pictures of all the stuff that he was selling and she realized the reason this looks familiar oh. is this is my oh. entire order oh. that was stolen off my he, porch he went, she went to the classifieds now it makes sense yeah facebook to me. marketplace the okay. classifieds right okay got yeah. it so right. she tracked down the seller she's looking at this and then she she went i don't know what to do and other people said call the police right. so the police went thank you they went to his address so she had the order because here's the picture okay. here's the here's the guy's address and went there and sure enough it was all of her stuff wow he had he they said he had a two-story high pile of ripped out boxes in his backyard from porch pirating and they said we're taking pictures of all the other stuff and we're going to post them in case you've had stuff stolen in spanish fork because it's probably at this right guy's house. right so on the bright side she did get christmas recovered but it was just... the deterrent you better enjoy those pair of sneakers I... <laughs> the only deterrent i've seen now the newest one is that you know they used to say hey let them into your house no and that, and then it was. Uh, let, now it's let them into your garage. I could see that more logically, except for I don't want to be ashamed at the filthy mess of our garage. I don't want the judgment. It's my hobby. I can't. I can't it's accept I the do. judgment. Okay. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Oh, last thing. Since you watched all the way to the end, you deserve a treat. Nothing but cakes. We have got. 12 delicious little buntinis waiting for you. They have new flavor this month. It's snickerdoodle. That incredible. is really good. All you have to do is say the code, write down the code word in the comments, which is? <laughs> which is code word. <laughs> really? Yeah, right. So write down code Admin. word in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and that means you're automatically just entered. Say code in. word. I will pick someone oh my tonight gosh. and okay. contact you. <laughs> really? Don't lick your countertops, and you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. Let's start. Come. Let's start no, talking. Don't this, judge me. This should be a little embarrassing. Don't judge me. At I'm some point, no, no, no it should be embarrassed because I didn't see any of these. That makes me proud, actually. Or you're just not that alert. I and know. Zoe had him in her area, so we know our daughter is cahoots with you. And that's just wrong. All right. See ya. Bye. I'm not sorry. I'm not talking to you. I'm not sorry. Hey, I'm not, you're cut off. <laughs>